have been affecting you. Come on in. Hey there, friends. Thanks for coming on over to my studio. I'm Eric William Carroll. I spoke at Medium in 2015. I'm going to have my Mr. Rogers moment when I take off my work shoes and put on my studio shoes. Uh, a little bit about myself is I am an artist who uses photography or a photographer on the very arty side of the spectrum. <laughs> uh, I'm interested in science and beauty and humor and I try and incorporate all elements of that into my artistic practice. Uh, behind me, this is kind of my like waiting area. Not that I ever have people waiting in my studio. I'm usually just in here by myself. Uh, but this is kind of where I put some of my books that I've either uh, published or have been in on my wall. Uh, maybe we'll take a, a closer look at some of those. So a big part of my studio practice is making books. I think that's how photographs look good. Uh, often. And so these are all books that I've made, except for that one, I didn't make that one, uh, that have helped me sort through different projects. Uh, so Gut Feeling was an earlier, kind of my first project that was really about science. Uh, that one I played in a punk band for a year to find out what it was like. Uh, that's when I used to manage studios. This is my Human Error series. I try and make one of these every year. Uh, I had a big gap when I was trying to figure out uh, <laughs> life stuff, uh, but the most recent one published last year was about all of the uh, biggest uh, icicles in Minneapolis and St. Paul, uh, and I should say that I'm a Minneapolis-based artist. Okay, uh, down here are uh, different books on uh, I've recently worked on, kind of maquettes. Uh, so. This is Standard Stars. This is a project which we'll see uh, more of in a little bit. This is a collaboration with a former student called Old Smelly Dead Things. Here is my official Eric William Carroll fan club membership card that uh, certifies that I am the president of this fan club and it's actually a real thing and you should join it. Um, and then this is the book that I'm working on this year. It's called A Light Year of Lead. Uh, maybe let's take a closer look at this one. So this is the book that I'm currently working on uh, this year. It's gonna be published hopefully by the end of the year and working with a designer. Uh, it's called A Light Year Lead. Uh, and this is kind of the latest version of the maquette. It's based on a lab book, but you know, 200 page uh, photo book uh, that is all about uh, dark matter experiments underground in these old abandoned caves. Uh, and it's kind of looking at the material nature of, of how we visualize uh, things and generate scientific proof um, while trying to be mysterious and weird uh, at the same time. But in order to get to this, I had to go through many different versions. So uh, I'll show you a couple of drafts uh, here. This is, uh, this is where I tried to basically just rip off uh, Sam Thomas' book. <laughs> and uh, I really love her book. And so this is uh, my version of the same book, but just like laid out in a very different way, design sensibility. Um, that did not work out. Uh, here's version 8. You can see experimental with different colors. Um, got more text in there, different images. That one wasn't good. V7 here, again, another different sort of version. Um, I got some post-it notes in here that helped me sort of go through um, different sections, again, different images. Version 5. Oh, this is a fun one. So this one, in order to get to version 5, what I did is I just printed my top 500 images. So as we go from this first room, the antechamber, into the beautifully sun-filled room here, this is kind of more of my gallery experimental space. Uh, got some work on the walls right now. All this work is from my project Standard Stars. And that sign up there, that's when I do an Instagram show called Studio Time. Uh, that, that happens very irregularly. Um, some research about the project. Uh, so this is all drawn from an archive of glass plate photographs of the sky that are currently decaying. Uh, you can kind of see how the emulsion is overlapping on those pictures. Um, so these are pictures from the archive and I've scanned uh, about a thousand of them uh, that I'm kind of trying to, to figure out what to do with. And then these are photographs made on site. It's a former NASA base, so it has that classic NASA blue brick on there. Uh, and it's in the mountains, uh, Appalachia Mountains, and so it's kind of beautifully foggy there. Uh, that's one of their satellites, or radio uh, telescopes, rather, that they have there. 
Uh, on the wall, I have uh, larger images, both uh, the images that are on top are from the archive, the images behind are images of the actual archive itself, so you get a little bit of sense of scale there. And the uh, scans are made very, very high resolution, so I can make big prints, this is 40 by 50. And yes, that is just an 8 by 10 negative that is decaying, and all these little dots right here, those are stars. Those are stars, but you can see how the emulsion kind of falls on top of each other and you get these sort of beautiful overlapping patterns. That's, that's what I'm interested in. And more of that over here. These pieces on the table are, uh, are kind of sculptural experiments going off of that emulsion decay that we see in pieces like that. I'm basically taking uh, imageless glass plates uh, coated in emulsion and then distressing them to have the emulsion sort of cascade and fall back onto itself. And then you kind of have these uh, beautiful abstract uh, sculptures. Um, that one has yet to, I haven't distressed it yet. That's a bigger one. Uh, but you can kind of see how they're, they're working there. So there's the glass plate. And they kind of, I don't know, I, I like them as layered. I think of them as like Photoshop layers. So I was mentioning that fan club, and one of my favorite things about my studio is the people who join my fan club at a certain level get their names on the wall. And so being able to see the names of my supporters or people who back me uh, is actually one of the uh, best things about my studio space. And you can see some of those names up there. Hopefully we'll continue to add these fantastic people to my wall. Alright, I'll play a little song for you. I'm not going to sing, because you have to pay in order to hear me sing. But I'll play a cover song, and if anyone can guess it, maybe I'll send you a prize in the mail. Just try and answer it in the comments. So here's like a two-year-old shot list. Um, kind of see what I've been photographing recently, arrowheads, magicians and scientists, a copy stand covered in tinfoil, rulers, yardsticks, archaeology sites, crime scene, photographic markers, tinfoil death masks, data centers, body cameras, and Bible printers. Hmm. Over here is kind of where I record music. Uh, a little tuck away point here for more storage, uh, camera equipment, tools, that kind of stuff. Um, have more books, actually. Uh, it might be worth looking at. It's my Standard Stars portfolio, and this is my book, Blue Line of Woods. Let's take a look at those. So this is my first book that I ever did called Blue Line of Woods, and it's based on these diazotype pieces that I would do. This was a commission for Antioch College. Uh, this is at Transformer Station. book was really meant to serve as a portable volume for them because they're quite large as you can see from the installation shots. This was all done by hand before I learned what a laser cutter was. Uh, and the whole book is one big accordion book so you can uh, pull the whole thing out. This is the standard stars portfolio or artist book, uh, however you want to call it. Uh, these are photogravures because standard stars material of the archive is all about its ephemerality and how it's decaying and not, not lasting that long. I wanted to make prints that could last as long as possible and so these are photogravure prints. Um, so you can kind of see the intaglio on the back. Well, thanks for coming over to my studio. Uh, maybe after we're done with this whole flu thing, if you find yourself in Minneapolis, just uh, shoot me an email and maybe stop on by. All right, till then, see you around guys.